Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video session, we are going to learn that how particular J unit test case will be executed. So, we will be seeing the execution procedure. For that, we need some example and for that, we will be creating one class first. For example, we will be creating student class. With this class, we will be creating some methods like calculating result or any other method. Now, whenever you are calculating result, we need to verify whether the result output is actually proper or not, whether it is correct or not. For that, we need to write some test cases. So, the second thing we will do that we will be creating one unit test case using J unit framework. Then we will be executing the test case and we will be verifying the results whether it meets the user requirement or not. So, all this thing will be done practically and I will show you that how actually the things is going to be done practically with J unit to execute the test cases. Let us see that how actual execution processor is going to be done in J unit test case. So, we are taking one scenario for that as an example. Suppose we have to create one student class and depending on the percentage of the particular students we need to specify the grade for that stu particular students and the criteria is written over here that if the percentage is less than 35 then it should be fail if the percentage is greater than and equal to 35 and less than 50 the grade should be pass class if the percentage is greater than or equal to 50 and less than 60 the grade should be second class if the percentage is greater than or equal to 60 and less than 70, the grade should be first class and if the grade is greater than or equal to 70, the grade should be distinction. Now suppose you have given, given this scenario and depending on that scenario, you need to write test cases for this four conditions that whether the condition is written proper or not. So, let us take an example for that. We have created one class student and in this class two data members are there that is one is integer roll number and another is the name of the particular student. One more variable is there that is float percentage and string grade. So, percentage will be used to check the condition and according to the condition grade will be assigned. For this class, one constructor has been created in which I am passing roll number, name of that student and the percentage for that student. After creating the constructor, I have created one method that is calculation grade and it is returning the string, it is returning the grade. So, I have written the condition if the percentage is less than 35, the grade should be fail. If the else if the percentage is greater than 50, the grade should be pass class. Else if the percentage is greater than less than 60, the grade should be second class. Else if the percentage is less than 70, grade should be first class. Else the grade should be distinction. So this is how we calculated the grade and we need to verify that whether we have calculated or derived the grade perfectly right or not and then I have created one display method to display the data for particular student. Now to check whether this code is according to the requirement that have we have written over here whether this two thing matches or not or whether th these two things are verified properly or not. So for that I have created one test demo in which I will be doing the test on this logic so over here I have created four object of the student that is S1, S2, SC and S4. Now for this four objects I need to set up an environment. It means I need to initialize the values for these four objects. So initialization is done in at the right before annotation method. So I have initialized this four object and I have passed the value through this parameterized constructor of the class student to this object. So this is the initialization of object that we have already discussed and the method is setup method and the method should have annotation at the red B4. Now whatever you want to test 
you need to write in the method with the annotation at the test so over here i am testing the thing i have five test cases sorry four test cases that is test pass test second test first and test distinction in all these methods i am checking whether the grade is proper or not so in test pass i have taken the value 35 as percentage of this student s1 so i am checking for s1 i am calculating the grade for student s1 and then i am checking whether the third fourth value equals to 35 it is returning pass class or not so i am using assert equals method to compare expected output to the actual output and then i am displaying the value for the student in test second method i am checking whether the student is having second class properly or not so over here i have an object s2 which is having value of percentage as 50 now 50 counts as second class as per our condition say greater than or equal to 50 it should be second class so this should count as second class so i just need to calculate the grade of this student and i need to compare the grade of this student to the string value second class so i've done so i've calculated the grade and then i have compared whether it is second class or not and then i have displayed the value of the student same procedure i have done for first class comparison and for distinction comparison we are having two students 60 and 70 we are having percentage for s3 and s4 respectively so i will be comparing for s3 as first class student and for s4 as distinction student after comparing all this thing if there is any requirement to release the driver or release the object you need to write after method we are not having such requirement for this project or for this application so i am not writing after method now this test should be included in test suite so i am including one class that is test demo dot class in test suite and i am running this test suite using test runner class so we'll be seeing the how it goes so just right click on test runner class and run at java application over here you can see the result very first thing we are having we are in before method now we are in test first test method the roll number is 3 name is Karan percentage is 60 and the grade is first class so it is proper same now we are in test distinction method the roll number is 4 the name is Smriti percentage is 70 and it is marked as distinction so again this method is also true now we are in test pass method the roll number is 1 name is Arush percentage is 35 and the grade is pass class so both has proper as per our requirement so again it is pr proper the last one is percentage num roll number is 2 name is Sharon percentage is 50 and the grade is second class so again this is proper so that's why the result is true and our test is successful now let us make some modification in this program suppose we are having one requirement that is for second class it should be greater than or equal to 50 okay now suppose in case i have written over here equal to sign it means 50 should be count in second class but due to this error of developer 50 is being counted in pass class so this error should be thrown over our test case execution so let's run the it again whenever we will be having any failure in test case our test case will be interrupted from there so test case will not be executed further now let us see the result okay this test case is pass this test case is pass the test case for pass class is pass but the test case for second class is failed 
so we are having a failure that is expected was second class but actual is past class so it is showing that where our strings are or where our results are different and as one test case has been failed the whole test suite execution is failed so the false is written again we can see that whether it terminates the thing or not terminates the execution or not so will be having over here suppose I am writing over here say percentage less than or equal to 70 then 70 should be marked as first class but as per our requirement 70 should be marked as distinction so our test case execution should be fail over here let's run it again now test distinction has been failed it is failed due to this error and that's why the result is false and because the test has been failed the data display method has not been executed over here as I said that the test for the particular test case will be interrupted so this display method is not called over here because test has been interrupted from here this is how the execution procedure is being done in JUnit and how actual the framework is designed. So that's the program, sample program to, for the execution procedure in JUnit. Thank you.